What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Gig Nation. Jonathan here. Today we're going to be looking at another rideshare update. This one is specific to Uber and it's kind of a cool new feature that they are adding to their app. It's going to allow passengers to get matched with drivers that specifically have the vehicle requirements necessary in order to get them up to ski resorts. So these are passengers, they wanna go skiing, but they don't wanna drive themselves. And if you are an Uber driver, you have an SUV that has a little bit more space and something like a roof rack to put some ski gear, some skis on top of, this could be a good fit for you. So let's take a look at exactly what is going to happen. This feature is going to be released in 23 different regions. And these are regions that Uber is kind of deeming as ski regions. So places like Salt Lake City, Denver, upstate New York, uh, even in Seattle, there's going to be a feature uh, that's offered on the app. And so let me show you exactly what this is going to look like. So I do not have the update. It's not going to be released until the 17th of December, but we have a pretty good idea of what it will look like in the app. So if we come over here to the passenger version of the Uber app, you can scroll down and see the different types of Ubers that are offered from Uber X, Uber Pool. And then if you go a little bit further, you can see Uber XL. So let's say I wanna take a trip to Crystal Mountain from here in Seattle. I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. And then on these different options that pop up, I'm going to see an option for Uber Ski. So why exactly is this a good thing? Well, let's pull up the Engadget article where I pulled a little bit of this information from. And as you can see, uh, there is a paragraph here that talks about how drivers will be compensated. And basically what's gonna happen is there will be a higher fee if you wanna take an Uber Ski vehicle and drivers are gonna be given a significant portion of that. So we don't exactly know what the significant portion is, but it does sound like drivers are gonna be paid more for this higher payout type of ride, which is definitely good news if you fit the criteria. If you were already driving for Uber, you had that roof rack, you had that SUV, that you know vehicle that can handle some snow, then this is definitely a good move for you in a way uh, to increase your earnings as an Uber driver. And so what's my take on this? Well, Uber has taken a lot of hits lately in the news, a lot of criticism because of lowering their rates. A lot of drivers just flat out do not like what they are getting paid. And it's definitely something where we do need to see uh, kind of, you know, some more restrictions, some more regulations, perhaps something to prop up the fees for drivers. Uh, and while this isn't really doing anything to appease those concerns, it is doing something to potentially boost pay for certain drivers. And it's a good thing to see new filters added uh, to see more specialization available to drivers and it's always beneficial because when you offer a new specialization something like uber ski what you're doing is you're narrowing down the market and that way if you do have uh, you know these specific requirements basically there might be more demand for a car like yours but they're not might not necessarily be as much supply there might not be as many other drivers out there that can meet that need so you're offering opportunities for drivers to potentially increase their earnings and it's definitely something you know that i like to see it's not a fix for the issue there's a lot of issues out there that still need to be fixed but it is a good bonus it, it benefits consumers and it could also potentially benefit drivers let me know what you think of this new update obviously it doesn't benefit a ton of uber drivers because most people do not have cars like this it's really a small niche segment but it is a good thing to see a good update to see let me know if you think it's a positive move for drivers if drivers are actually going to be seeing a significant portion of these pay increases for this type of ride i'd love to hear your thoughts and if you're looking for the latest gigs in your area make sure to check out gigsharks.com for all of the latest updated gigs in your city i've been working really hard to kind of compile this list and make sure that the best uh, highest paying opportunities are available and consolidated into one place so if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also check out the facebook page gig nation where we talk about everything related to the gig economy it's really a great place to break things down and kind of discuss with other people what we're feeling what we're seeing out there on the road uh, what impact it's having on our earnings and how to earn more in the gig economy.